Friends, look how she came out. Just dropped a curling tutorial. These big bouncy curls. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Hi guys, today I will be doing a curling tutorial. Um, this is a highly requested video by a lot of my clients who do not know how to curl or once they leave with the unit that they've purchased from me or um, had revamped, they, they don't know how to curl it back up the way I gave it to them. So, um, shout out to Kletasha, happy birthday. This video is for you because she's been asking me for weeks now and she's one of my loyal clients and um, yeah, this video is for you, girl. So <laughs> um, to start off, you are going to need a few appliances to do curling. So of course, you're going to need a curling wand. Mine is a one inch barrel. Um, granted, if you want bigger curls, uh, heavier curls you can use a bigger barrel so like a um, one and one quarter or some people do two inch but because this hair is shorter you might not get much of a curl um, you're going to need a hot comb you're going to need heat protective spray um, a brush wide tooth comb if you wanna, you know, do a little layering, scissors or my favorite razor, um, rat tail comb, and she is bomb wax stick. One more thing, pump it up spray. That's what I use to hold the curls. You don't need it, but uh, a lot of people use. Um, other things, Pantene spray, um, got to be, I find a lot of those things are heavy products, so they stick in the hair a lot longer, they're crunchier, you get like a little white residue, you don't really want that. And um, this, you're spraying lightly afterwards, very lightly. And um, lint roller. Why I say this? Because I work with a lot of hair. Um, you tend to get a lot of hair in your clothes, you'd be surprised, like... I wear material pants or tights or like any little thing like that, like the slightest cut in hair, I get hair stuck in my pants. So um, this helps out a lot because just get that bad boy out and keep it moving. And um, yeah, once you have all those things, you're ready to go. So um, I'm just gonna brush out the hair to begin with. Um, this client provided the hair, well the unit for me. Um, I did not construct it. I just added an elastic band for the client so it's more secure when she does wear it. And um, she just requested revamping services. So gave it a wash, style, and I just added the elastic band, you know, just for the fun. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how to hold a curling iron. So see your curling iron. Uh, I don't even know Get the grasp that you have to have on the clamp. Be careful. I suggest if you are a beginner, um, get a curling iron that does have a little nozzle at the end that you can hold while you are curling. Why I suggest that is because a lot of people tend to burn themselves. Uh, when I was younger, I had a bad experience and like I love doing hair and I was curling my hair and I ended up getting the curling iron stuck to my arm because the end was open. It was a Marcel iron. So, I mean, uh, if you don't listen, you must feel. That's what I was growing up. Um, that's what I was raised knowing, but <laughs> it wasn't my fault. But I learned my lesson, trust me, over the years, and I use this. I can use Marcel irons, but because you might be a beginner, I suggest that you use this curling iron. Not this brand particularly, but get a curling iron, like I said, with a nozzle on the end that you can hold... Um, to protect you from the heat um so you guys are going to be holding it four fingers under thumb on top okay you will be 
clamping the hair between the barrel. You hold it together and you would pull out, roll in. Pull out, roll in. Pull out. You're gonna section out a piece. Let's put a little heat protectant on it. Just a little bit. Um, I find that a lot of these things are very, very, very oily. Yes, it is protecting the heat from, or sorry, protecting the hair from the heat, but at the same time, it does leave um, the hair very oily. You don't want that. It weighs down the unit and your client's going to have to wash it really often or just feel like very heavy, greasy, and you don't want that. So like I said, you're going to clamp it right through the barrel, pull out, roll in. Because it's a short hair, I don't really need to do much pulling out and rolling in, not until the top. So I'm tapping on the hair just to feel how hot it is until I need to release it. And there's my curl. Okay, so I have reached halfway and my curls are very bouncy and flowy. And just as I said to you, the way I'm curling is so that when the curl, when I do the comb out, the curls will fall forward in the face. So both sides. So this is the left side of the unit. The curl is going to fall in the face on the left side. Um, same thing as the right side, fall in the face on the right side. So um, we're almost done, almost done. This unit is not taking me that long only because um, the hair is shorter so what you're gonna do is section out some hair all across the unit and pin up um, the hair that you are not curling that's what you need your pins for butterfly clips I cannot remember the name of these ones, but these ones are very, very, very good. Um, got them on Amazon, and you're going to spray your heat protectant. So I don't like spraying my heat protectant on every um, piece that I section out. Sorry, forgive me. Um, I'd rather just spray it on the spray it on the hair that I took out to curl now, and we're not spraying a lot, and you're not spraying it directly at the hair either. Like I said, it may be a heat protectant for the hair, but it can get a little greasy and heavy and your curls will not come out. So what you're gonna do is just comb that through the hair. And like I said, section a bit of the hair out and uh, I'm going to put the hair in the middle of the curling iron. My curls are going to be tight. So since they're gonna be tight, I'm going to start more at the root. I'm gonna curl right at the root. If I want it to be looser, I would curl closer to the middle or to the end. So when I say looser, like I can do the curl here and just leave it like that. See how much of a, a loose curl that is? I don't know if you can see. Like a body wave if I wanted to, and I don't want that. Um, do you see this curl compared to this curl? It's like I didn't do nothing. So what I'm doing is curling from the root, like I said. Um, we're going to use the pull out, roll in, pull out, roll in method, okay? So hair between the barrel, pull out, and hold onto this end piece and roll in. Okay, I'm right back at the root again. Pull out, roll in. Pull out until there's no more hair there. Let it go and roll in. So what I tend to do is just hold it there and I tap where the hair is just to see how hot it's getting. Um, a lot of the clients do bring hair that can handle the heat and some that can't. So um, I'm gonna let that go. See how much of a tight curl that is. And do you see the curl? Do you see how it's flowing to the front of the hair on the left side? You can pull it. 
so it is. So that is the curl I just did in there. And I want to go through. And finally, guys, we are at the top section. So this is the closure, or I would say frontal section, but on this unit, Fabs and Mad Klein, it is a closure. So what I usually do, let's just focus there, is this is where the wax stick comes in. So I usually section the hair, and you're going to need your hot comb on for this.
part let me see that there i like um volume in my bangs so i would comb the hair back comb it back me i personally add a little bit of this be right at the root there just a little bit and hold the hair up and try to pass the comb through it okay and then I use the back of the hot comb and I just let it hang over it just for a little bit do you see that Push it back, and then I just let it hang over it. Just hang over the back of the comb. So, I get that little volume. I don't know if you see that. It's better from that side. You have that little bit of volume. Cause the... Place. okay and for this curl to fall forward how i like it you are going to again listen to what i'm saying curl back girl curl back so i usually like to stand up for this but it's low enough put the hair through the barrel do it fast because you do not want to leave that little mark um. Pull out, roll in. Pull out, roll in. Pull out, roll in. And because this is the bang part, I curl it on the top of the head. I do not curl it to the side and have the barrel up. And I just... Hold it there for maybe 10 seconds and I leave it, let it just set just like that. And then apply a little stiff spray just for the hold. So same thing for the next side now. And then holding it there. So you're just gonna look like it has two horns in its head. And again, I spray little spritz. So the curling process for me is done. I'm going to transfer this unit to a wig head. Or mannequin head, sorry. And I will be right back to show you the finishing touch. But look how bouncy our curls are like. And they're uh, still intact. Like I didn't do anything to it as yet. Okay guys, so we are at the finishing part. Um, you can add your sheen spray or whatever you like at this point. I just add a, a little spritz of heat protectant. 
just for that little shine. Um, and this is where you're gonna need your wide tooth comb. If you were doing your layering, um, you would have done it before we started curling. And um, let's see how she came out. So you're gonna bring your comb back through the hair. So comb it back. Just like how you're curling back, you're combing back. Okay, because you want the hair to fall forward. Sorry, let me just get my girl right here. So I will be taking pictures now, my unit, and I'm very proud of how it came out. So again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button, okay? For any new tutorials or videos that will be coming out, just the right height. Bye.